I'm sick of hiring people that are uninspired. I'm done with people that make more excuses than they can make money. I'm over the book smart and the people stupid. I'll throw up again if I hear about what you did rather than what you can do. This isn't a contest. This isn't a challenge. This is the way I hire people. And I have two rules. One, find great people. Number two, never tolerate average. And the people that refuse to settle. Trust me. If you have even the slightest hint of being a whiner, crybaby, or little bitch, I'll find out. This is whatever it takes. I don't care about your past. You bring it all, and you got a real shot, a real opportunity, at real money, and a real future with my company. Six out of nine people were late, yeah. and they want to know why they're out of work. And then they're going to say, oh, it's just tough, the economy's tough. You're late, man. I'm shocked how many people think it's all right to show up late for an interview. Let's bring them in here because I'm convinced. I have to believe that we can find somebody great out of all this lateness. If you think this is some job interview, you're wrong. We're going to find out what you have inside of you. We're going to find out who you really are when things don't go your way. I can't hire all of you because I can't train all of you up fast enough. So I'm gonna hire one of you, and I'm looking for one great person. I know this guy, farm boy. Yeah. Raised on a farm in Indiana. My name's Steve Spray. I'm currently a realtor in Indianapolis, Indiana. I left my family, left everything I have behind. I moved down here because you were looking for great people. I know I have what it takes, and I'm ready to come work for you. You got any cattle that he can milk? Things like working on a farm, I love that. My name is Valia Alexis. I am an independent contractor, telecommunications. I am all by myself. I am my support system. I'm the only one who pays my bills. I'm here to take this job. Whatever it is you're offering, I have whatever it takes, whatever you're asking for, I'm the right person. She's already on the, on the list to cut for me. She, she was the last person here, several minutes late. My name is Min Fong. I'm currently in real estate school and I am here because I believe I can beat any other competitor on this line here. I will do whatever it takes to take care of my family. Johnny Sales? Sales guy, I guess, right? First guy to show up today. Uh, my name is Johnny Ringgold. I've pretty much been in the auto industry 20 years. Well, $15,000, I made my first month at 15 years old selling cars. Teacher pretty much fell out of her chair, says, Johnny, what are you doing? You trying to kill me? This is what I make in a year. I said, well, if this is what you make in a year, ma'am, why don't you come sell cars? You, you own a car dealership right yep. now? Yep. So what, why, do, why do you want to jump in if you own a car? Um, I need more of my day. I can't sit there. I mean, we sell 15, 20 cars a month. I make time. I can sell it already, make good money. I like that you're a sales guy. It worries me that you got a car dealership that's only selling 15 cars a month. Like, why is it failing? Well, I know we have one girl who actually jumped off a bridge to, you know, to, to illustrate her point that she'd do whatever it takes. <laughs> what do we call her the sand eater? She made sand in a video. I'm so desperate. You have no idea. I want this job so badly. Are you the one that jumped off the bridge? Yes. I and, jumped and off the bridge. And ate the sand? And I ate the sand. OK, you guys willing to do whatever it takes? She's eating sand and jumping off bridges. I do marketing, um, graphic designing, web design, um, pretty much do anything and everything I can. I'm here to dominate, and I'm not here for competition. Well, she's either willing to do whatever it takes, or she's nuts. My name is Cam Noden. I run a small business marketing firm. I spent my last $10 to be here today. No haircut. I went and bought an all-day bus pass, got me some breakfast. I don't eat breakfast every month, but they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, it is an important day for me. I come from a community where on kids see dope dealers, athletes, and rappers make it. And I keep telling them you don't have to do that to make it. So I'm here to prove to them that you can do anything beyond that and still make it. So no, you didn't show up on time today. Is that true? Correct. That's right, thank you. What's Ronnie legs? I mean, he run fast? You know, there's a whole family grant. Ronnie, uh, this is his sister. Ron Sadie's. And this is his mother. We have a family here today? First, I want to apologize for not showing up on time. And my name is Ronnie Hart. Why were you late? Um, because I had to catch her out my mother, and I didn't want to leave. You were late because you're your mom? Yeah, I didn't want to leave her. So. Why do we call him legs? He's got prosthetic legs. Oh, wow. You're kidding. No. I work 10 times harder than a guy with his legs or with all of his fingertips. He need me to go make coffee, run an errand, drive, do anything. I can do it just like the regular guy can. How'd you lose your legs? Um, a disease called meningitis. I 
at age of seven. So. Show the people you're competing against what you've been through in life. Oh, I've been through cutting back. Um, show, show them, man. You want me to show them the press that? Yeah, I want to yeah. see that. I just want to tell the rest of you that we're late, okay? He was late. He didn't even blame it on his legs. He blamed it on his mother. What can Ronnie do? Personable young fellow. Great smile, great yeah. eyes. Maybe he's good customer service. Who are you, Marty? I'm Ronnie Sadie Tar, and I'm here because I have whatever it takes. I want this job because my financial situation, I'm not happy. I know I have the talent. I know I have the determination, the drive, the courage. I'm strong enough to be whatever it takes. What are you doing now? Right now, I'm in school. I'm a full-time student. I can't hire them all, so they understand. Two of the three of them are getting cut. At least. This is his mother. Hi, my name is Kawaja Moore, and I'm here because I believe I have whatever it takes. I don't like my living condition. I don't like my financial state, and that's why I am here. I do want to apologize for being late. I do believe that um, we were late because I had to go back and get money for gas. I switched purses and left the money in the other purse, so that's the real reason why we were running late. We were already headed to the turnpike, am I correct? Come on, talk to me. Am I correct? And we had to turn around for the money. What's the real story? Why were you late? I'm gonna tell you the real story. You're I'm blaming her on a purse. <laughs> did you yeah, know? But it, but we did it is the truth. We left the house about 10:15, and then we did have to turn Look, you're late because you left late. Yeah, we left at 10:15. It takes us like 25 minutes to get here. If we left at 10:15, we would have made it here. You know, I, I got two little girls. I have an opportunity to set an example for my little girls. My dad died when I was 10 years old. He set an example for me. Good work ethic, be honest, have a great reputation, and show up early. LaWanda, right? Yes. You know, LaWanda, let's just do this right now, okay? You don't have whatever it takes. You've made that clear already. Just by showing up late, and more importantly, by making excuses for it. I'm going to ask you to leave. Thank you. furious with the mother. You guys that are late are already on the bubble. We're going to put you through a series of contests and challenges to find out who here has whatever it takes. Not just intelligence, not just a skill. Do you have whatever it takes? This glass of water, okay? Simple glass of water. You can get one anywhere, right? I can go to the tap, turn it on, fill up my glass of water. Simple glass of water. Your value to this company right now is worth no more than this glass of water. This is how the world judges you right now and why most people are underemployed and underpaid and overlooked. Because you appear to be just like a glass of water. Your job here is to prove that you're worth more than everybody else in this lineup. Bubbles, your first. Follow me. I'm going to give you a choice here to either sell the glass of water or sell yourself to me. Okay, you have one minute to do it. Go. You don't believe that there's a competition, and I'm here to compete against that girl that came late. I'm here to learn from you. Um, you have whatever it takes, and that's why you can recognize when somebody has whatever it takes. When this woman walked in, Valia Bubbles walked into my room and she started her pitch, dude, it was awesome. I watch a lot of your videos on YouTube and basically you just eat up competition. You don't believe in dealing with that. You believe in annihilating it, getting rid of it, and just soaring. And that's basically what I'm here to do. I'm here to make sure that you keep doing that. I think she'd be great for customer service. I don't think she's exaggerating. I think she's a real deal. This is a glass of water. You have a choice to sell the glass of water or to sell yourself. Okay, you have one minute. Go. How you doing, sir? This glass of water right here, um, you know, most water here in Zephyr here, you have Dasani, you have all these other brands. This particular water right here, I like to pitch to you. This is um, new water right here. It has nice minerals. With today's, everyone's going green. We all want to be healthy. We all watching our figure. This water has minerals. It has vitamins. It has also been put with electrolytes and other things like that that you would need. Very genuine. Yeah. Very genuine. Very good guy. But again, like what? No skills. What's he gonna do no for skills. us? Why did you pick the water over yourself? Because um, with sales. You're not. You're, you're selling a piece of yourself to build a connection with the, the customer. What am I hiring here? You're hiring. What am I looking for? Someone who has whatever it takes. Yeah. Does that glass of water have whatever it takes? Depends on what you're looking for. That's why if you look for whatever it takes to keep you hydrated and keep you in good health, 
It would. He's Absolutely. been fired from jobs because the management had their own ideas about how to run their company. Well, hey, <laughs> shouldn't the management have their own ideas yeah. about how to run their company? Great, I'm not here to sell you water. All right, you're looking for somebody who thinks big, who works hard, and who isn't afraid to accept any challenge and execute. And that's what I'm here to do, is show you I'm your guy. I moved 1,200 miles from my family and everything I've ever known down here because I knew you were giving a shot away and this was my opportunity. And I chase opportunity. So look, thought is instantaneous. So I got a question for you. Have you seen enough to make a decision? That's good, dude. That's good. Steve, hands down, had the best pitch. Form boy? Hands down. Yeah. He's, no the only, he's the only person after seeing everybody that I've got any attention on right now. Why is the guy failing in he's life? He's a young guy, Grant. He's not a business owner, an entrepreneur. Neither were you at his age. What were you doing at 25? People need an opportunity, a stepping stone. And that's why people are here. Okay, hi, how you doing? My name is Ronnie. I know most people need water on an everyday basis. You know water is more healthy than anything you know, and you can live longer with water. A great glass of water, you know, even though it's a half, but it'll still quit your thirst, you know, and it'll just be a great product if you would like to buy this water. The water is a better product than you are. In some ways, it'll be more marketable. That's how I feel about it. The water, that glass of water that I can go to a tap, turn the tap on and get as much as I want, is a more marketable, valuable item than you are. Because it's already known people. So know. why would I pay you anything? You have to know your value, match it with your greatness, match it with your skills, and then bring that to the market. And the marketplace will pay you. Go. You should choose me for your company because um, I'm ambitious. I can catch on really, really fast. So whatever it is that you need me to do for the company, I can catch on, you know, in less than five minutes. The problem I see with Ronnie as well as Ron Sandys is that they both quit jobs because it didn't fit into their school schedule. I think you should buy this glass of water. It's obviously very pure water. It looks filtered to me. Also, it comes with the glass. The glass is very specially etched. You can see that edging on the top right there. Me. This guy's got killer in it. Okay. Have you lost weight recently? Uh, your, your suit's a little big. I, I didn't know if you had lost. lost to be weight. honest with you, I have lost a good amount of weight. Um, when my mother passed, I lost about a good 20 pounds. I lost my mom just three years ago. Very sorry to hear that. He wants to show his mother that passed that he's got it all. In order to do her justice and show her that she did a good job raising me, I'll honestly, I don't feel like I'll ever be done. If there's one regret I have in life, it's not treating her like a queen <clears throat> sooner than I did because you don't know what's gonna happen, but she just deserved a lot better than what she got. Did you know that this glass of water has actually been blessed by a Tibetan monk? I'm sure you don't think anything about that. You probably don't think that any of any importance or anything, but I'm gonna tell you that that water molecule actually changes into snowflakes, beautiful snowflakes. And just imagine, you made it 97 to 98% water. Mm -hmm. This chick, this chick is just, She's wild. She's Listen, crazy. she's a little I'm out starting there. to second okay. guess this whole process we're doing because we're attracting Thank a lot of you. freaking wackos. Thank you. This is what I got. <laughs> I wrote down creative or crazy. <laughs> Which one is it? Why can't I have both? That's right. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. <laughs> the brother picked the water. Cam picked water. Johnny, the car dealer, picked water. You have a choice between selling that glass of water and selling yourself. You have one minute. Can I have one question? Yeah. Do I have to be ethical or have... Go. Something about Johnny that I, I think we need to get to the bottom of. I, there's something I don't trust about him. I don't get why he's here. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, you're supposed to legally, not legally, but you're supposed to drink yeah, eight not, glasses yeah, of water. water. I think I found out why you only sell 15 cars over there. Oh, that's not fair. I'm only been open three weeks. So that yeah. means that he didn't produce enough <laughs> to hit his target. <laughs> exactly. I think I know what I got to do. Time for the lineup. Get him in here. Yep. Farm boy is the threat here for everyone here. Right now, he's a mile ahead of everyone. Farm boy, you have whatever it takes. You move 1,200 miles to come down here for this opportunity. Okay, my next whatever it takes is my boy, Min. Yeah. 
You have whatever it takes right now, bro. Dude, I lost my mom, my dad, and an older brother. It drove me. It drove me. So whatever that is, you got to grab a hold of that loss and figure out how to, like, put it in a capsule. You got it. One, you picked the water, didn't you? Didn't you yes. sell the water? Okay, you sold the water. I don't know why you did that. I don't know why any of you did that. Number two, when I tried to correct you on it, you argued with me. I'm putting everything I have into this because this is an opportunity of a lifetime. For that reason alone and for being late, you don't have whatever it takes. I need you to leave the lineup. Look, the reason I got rid of Cam is Cam's a mouth. He's an uncontrollable mouth, okay? He's a young, young guy. I think one day he's going to mature and he's going to be excellent. But he doesn't have whatever it takes right now, and that's why I got rid of him. I didn't argue. I stood my ground. I, I felt, and I took what, um, what Grant said, that we are a glass of water. So I chose to sell the water. If I'm compatible to the glass of water in his book from what he said, maybe I, I, I took it the wrong way. I understood it. Different. Maybe that was it. Not sure. I love it that you're willing to go all the way, and I love it that you're willing to do crazy stuff. But, but I need your creativity. Like, you got to figure out how to hone it in. I mean, maybe, maybe it's because you're crazy that I'm willing to say, hey, right now you have whatever it takes. Take a step back. And I was doing all those things, the eating the sand and jumping off the bridge to get his attention, and I definitely got his attention. That was the whole idea. I'm cutting two people. There's four people standing. Okay. Why should I cut you? Because I have what it takes. I have the drive. What'd you pick in there? I picked water. You picked water, dude. You picked water. You got the most sales experience of everybody on the lineup. True, but I believe I lacked a mentor. You so lacked a mentor. mentor. How old are you? 32. I think Grant could be my mentor because, like in the interview I just had, two things, I, I mean, I'm learning constantly every time he speaks. I don't know if he needed me to mentor me. I, I mean, I would, I would love if he wanted to mentor me, obviously, but I feel like I need Tony, to be I want to hire somebody, dude. I don't want to be their father. Okay, I got two little girls right now. I don't think you have whatever it takes. Okay. Thank you for being here. The reason I cut Johnny Rinko is because he's supposed to be able to come in here and sell. He should be able to sell the pants off of everybody out there, and he didn't. Okay, so Bubbles, Bubbles, this is the deal, okay? These guys are like, what, what can she do? She's Bubbles. Wow. <laughs> no, that's that. That's a nickname, but I can do I can do anything, everything. I think the interview went perfectly. I was um, a fat. I was thinking really fast. I got my answers out. I was very articulate, um, very eloquent. I've managed a financial firm. I've I've been in AmeriCorps where I volunteered my time to basically help students with literacy. I've taught, which means I have a lot of knowledge. Okay, dude, I'm convinced. You got whatever it takes. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm convinced. They're not convinced. I'm convinced. That's okay. Okay. Back to the brother and sister. You're both late. I hate that. If you like Convince me. me right now. Yeah. I'm a, one of you, one of you I'm going to make quit because y'all yeah. wouldn't do it on your own. Now I'm the backbone of the family. Like Everyone knows that, you know? You're going to leave school to do this job? Yes. You're going to quit school? Yes. What are you going to school for? Journalism and TV broadcasting. Okay, and you and you went and did journalism and TV broadcasting because you wanted to do that? No, that was something that I wanted to do. So why would you quit something you were committed to to come to work for this company? Because this is a great opportunity. It's the once in a lifetime. All right. Well, what, what makes me think that you're not going to quit here once you come here and you find a better opportunity? I'm not a quitter. You, you're not a quitter. Mm -hmm. But you'd quit for a better opportunity. Yeah, you would. You just told me that. You just said it. You just told me the truth for the first time. Thank you very much. You don't have whatever it takes. I'm keeping your brother. Thank you. Did you just tell her you loved her? Yeah. That's competition. Nice. Pull in, man. Pull in. <laughs> I love Ron Andes. She's not ready. She's too young. She's, she's going through life based on her looks. She's got to get more professional. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Look at the camera. I'm proud of my son. Hey, my brother. He made it for Grant Cardone's company. How badly do you want this? Mm, bad. Very bad. Bad than I ever wanted anything before. Bad than I wanted a girl before. Anything in the world, you know? Anything. The reality is Ronnie has to find a place for himself in the economy. 
Where is he valuable? Over the next 24 hours, you have an opportunity to make a video for social media about this company, about Grant Cardone, about his products, to show us in the best light possible. The video that gets the most hits and that possibly goes viral could possibly provide you with a lifeline. You guys getting excited? You getting interested now? Yeah, yes. This thing's just getting started, trust me. I made that video, the challenge video that Grant asked us to. I didn't sleep that night. I posted it onto YouTube and I didn't even have time really to promote it. I was like sending out text messages trying to get my friends to push it out. Leah was my front runner and I find out this morning she's not even here yet. We can't even get in contact with her. Your chances just got 40% better. And Ronnie, my man Ronnie's late. And look who just showed up. Come on in. We've been waiting an hour and a half for you. Why are we this weekend? Because of car issues. And I had to wait for the car to cool down to drive it, so. Look, I'm gonna challenge Sticks. I'm gonna challenge him, I'm gonna push him, I'm not giving him any breaks, I don't feel sorry for him, I have no sympathy for his condition, I'm giving him an opportunity, he has to earn the rest of it. How'd you get here? My, my sister drove me. Where's she at? Outside. Come in here. Take Valia's spot, you showed up. She's probably the most intelligent of all of you. And she can't show up on time. This is what I want you to do. I want you to get in street clothes. Be ready to work. Be ready to be challenged. Change, you have 10 minutes. Physical challenges, that's, that's a necessity to life. If you aren't physically fit, you're probably tired, yawning by the time it's two o'clock in the afternoon. That's pathetic. This is Fifi's. Fifi's is a historical point in Miami Beach. The best fish, best stone crabs, in this city or right here at Fifi's. You'll notice there's no setup out here yet. I'm gonna be showing you a picture of exactly how this space looks. Your task today is gonna to be to bring all the tables out here, set this space up based on a picture only. I have the picture in my pocket. You're gonna have a few moments to absorb the content of these pictures and then who best duplicates the information in this picture and sets them up the quickest, gets a pass on this exercise. Before you get this exercise done though, I'm gonna exhaust you physically. Follow me. It's about 900 pounds of padding for carpet. People that work for me put it in the wrong location. You're gonna pick this up and you're gonna move it back to my office building where it should have been thrown away. It's not my problem anymore. I just want it back in my office building in the dumpster. Good luck. You can move down. So we do gotta roll it up. Can you put it out? Yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying. Take it all the way it's going to be too much. But well, we're going to do this all the way to the building. I watched this man carry what looked like 150 pounds on his back until his lower legs, his prosthetics, were in his way. All right. We can pick it up. Ready? Go. When I looked over, I thought Ronnie was down. I thought he was hurt. So what are you doing? He's like, I can move faster without him. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. You guys good? Uh, the reason I had took my legs off, I didn't do it for show or anything, you know, but I know I can move faster with my legs off, so I was like, it's now or never, you know, and I didn't want to seem like a weak thing in the back, so you know, I just took them off and did what I had to do. We got it. 
there. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Where's the fifth person at? Where's Dana at? I don't know. I actually didn't vomit. I was just dry heaving. And I think that's because I pushed myself so far, even past the limit where I was supposed to. My body was just freaking out. But I was like, I don't care. My mind was like, <laughs> you're going, <laughs> you know? We got it. Yeah. We're gonna run it up the back elevator. Just keep pushing. We're almost there. Holy crap, so when Ronnie was running across the street, I was shocked. That is dedication, like seriously, inspiration. Just Gotta pick it up. Back door in the building. Just pick it up. What? Okay. It's unbelievable, man, what people can find inside of them when they're pushed up. That was fucking awesome, man. Like, that, that guy's got my respect right there. I just, you know, live every day, you know, trying to do the best I can, that's all. This is Fifi's space right here. The best fresh seafood delivered here every day. Nothing frozen, everything fresh. Now we're gonna go inside. You're gonna get another look at the setup here. You're gonna have 12 minutes to figure out how to put up this sidewalk. Somebody will be eliminated at the end of this challenge. When we opened up this place, we were going into the recession, 2007, July. Instead of coming out, places were closing, places with a lot of money. We didn't have any money. The only thing we had to defend ourselves was fresh seafood. Right here. Keeping it simple and we pulled people in from the streets and put them in here. If you do that for Mr. Cardona, you're gonna be very successful. Pay attention to detail, be professional, make Fifi's look better than it's ever looked. Because this challenge today, somebody gets cut and it sets everybody up for the next challenge. table on that end had two chairs on it so bring that one out here let's go my biggest competition i would have to say farm boy because he's quiet but like i can tell like he really wants it also like, we're just gonna figure it out she said no, no hey um steve did you know how to how to get silverware was, was it wrapping anything just wrap it up wrap it up is it a picture they're lined up straight why wouldn't you line something up straight the only reason not to line something up straight is because you're not straight in the head. Where'd, the, where'd you guys get the cup? Uh, hold it. No. Yeah. Nope. Right here. Get the other ones. Get the other ones. Silverware is not out. Napkins are not out. Oil and vinegar is lacking in every container. Five. How much are the stone crabs here, jumbos? $65. Those are colossals, excellent answer. How much are the hog snappers? By the pound. None of you looked at the menu. You think this business is gonna sustain itself or pay you a salary without money? You didn't pay attention to the menu and it was in front of you. I didn't even think of looking at the menu, and he's very right. Who do you think should be cut based on everything you've seen so far? Me. Me? Why? I felt like he was like more slack than Oliver. Okay. Who should I cut, Sprite? Men. Men. Who should I cut? Men. If I was competing against me, I would want me out of the competition too. Why were these left here? 
I didn't know where to put them, sir. Do you think they were supposed to be left in the restaurant? One man, this man, every day does this task, puts all these tables, all these chairs out in under 20 minutes by himself. Five of you couldn't do it in 12 minutes and left 14 chairs and two tables in the restaurant. And we're right at opening time. Who's responsible for this? I am. I'll take responsibility for it. Who didn't pull their load here? Three of you wanted to cut men. I'm not cutting him. You know why? He got the stone crab question right. Right on the money, too. You have whatever it takes. Take a step back. Thank you, sir. Now who goes? Who do you cut? Ron Sadies. Who do you cut? My sister. You cut your sister? Yes. Who would you cut? I would say myself if I would have been properly geared. I could have did much better. You would cut yourself? Yes. I don't care how bad I'm doing in life, how much I'm failing, how terrible things are going, I will never, ever, ever, ever cut myself. Ever. It is impossible to fail if you just don't quit. You don't have whatever it takes. Are you still rooting for your brother? Yeah. We're not anymore. No, I am. Did he throw you under the bus? I mean, it was the truth, but I didn't expect for him to say that, but it was the truth. Your next task is to go in the back of Fifi's. He has two grunt jobs that need to be done in 10 minutes. You need to wash the dishes? You ever washed dishes before? Yes, sir. These are big pots and pans. Some of them weigh as much as 25 pounds each. You're gonna clean the back of the store. I want it spotless back there. Go. the dishes and stuff my, my arm hurts I ripped my fingernail off right here see that there was a knife in there nobody told me about it and I grabbed it and it just sliced it right open I was like mm, that hurts so bad I kept going I didn't care I didn't even say anything about it while I was washing the dishes because you know what if you focus on the pain pain's gonna hurt more the owner of the restaurant is interested in hiring you if he offers you a job right now would you take it? No, I'm going to stick by you. Say it again? I'm going to stick by you. I believe in love. I can get you a job with this company right now. If you lose the competition, you don't have a job. If you take this job right now, you're guaranteed a job. No, I'll stick in a competition. You'd rather go for broke? Yeah. Because you gave me a chance before. Go oh, back and clean the dishes. Okay, guys, wrap it up. Wrap it up because I'm cutting two people. Yes, sir. Right yes, sir. Wrap it up. You guys did with five of you the job of one man, and you still didn't get it completed. Who should I cut for him, boy? You should cut him in. He drops the ball just like he dropped the glass in the bag. You dropped the glass? I dropped the glass. Did you make restitution? Absolutely. Went back with paper towel, made sure every single piece of glass was off the ground. Man, that's not restitution. Do you know what restitution means? I do. That cost that owner, Nelson, money. Did you pay him back for the glass you broke? No. You know what, people every day think they can break other people's shit and not pay for it. Mean, you don't have whatever it takes. You're wrong. I do have what it takes. I broke a glass. I made a mistake. You didn't I make up for it, and it. you didn't stand out today. You talk about how great you are. You didn't stand out. You didn't lead the way. He's just average. The guy is just average. You're wrong. Leave the lineup. Hey, good luck. Good luck, man. I think it's a little weak that someone else in the competition had to bring that up to get me off the show. I mean, he should be talking about his performance, not worried about mine. I am your strongest link in this group. Why? Why? I am just constantly telling them what to do, constantly stepping it up. 
I mean, when it came to us like trying to wash the dishes and stuff, my whole entire arm hurt so crazy. I kept pushing through. I was dry heaving, literally dry heaving, because I pushed it past my body's limit. Did everybody thought that I was gonna quit because of that? Hell no. I was gonna try and throw up and keep going. What can you do for me, Dana? What can I do for you? I'll do I'll do anything. I'll graphic design for you. Anything you want me to step up. Did you again, post I'll do a it. video for me? Yes, sir, I did. Did you post a video for me? No, sir. Say again? No, sir. Did you post a video for me, form boy? No. Dana, you have whatever it takes. Take a step back. Ronnie, can you show up on time? Yes. I can't show up on time. I've given you two chances to show up on time. Both times you failed me. Ronnie, I love you. You're a great guy. You got unbelievable heart. I saw you do things today I have never seen anyone do. I was pulling for you. I wanted to hire you. I wanted to give you a job. This man wanted to give you a job because of your heart. You showed up late and you showed up late twice. You don't have whatever it takes. I didn't want to cut him, but I had to cut him because he was late twice. You cut him? Yeah, I cut him. And I had to. Because as much as I love the guy, as much as I respect the guy, if I can't depend on him, I'm not going to put him to work here. And as much as I think that anybody that watches this is going to think, oh, he's ruthless, he only cares about money, I got a lot of people here to care about and take care of. He showed up late twice. It killed me to cut him. Please tell me you're never going to be late again. Never, never Please. late again, never. If I got to catch me buses. Bus. I'm catching those buses. I don't you care. You can't rely on an unreliable car. Yes. All right, you guys got this far? Understand this. I'm not obligated to hire either one of you. I need to know which one of you is gonna do whatever it takes. You're gonna go back to Fifi's. You're gonna drive traffic at the worst time of the day into his store. He's got a location that is extremely challenging. And you need to sell them stone crabs, bonefish, or the third product. Have you ever heard the saying, he can sell ice to an Eskimo? You're going to stand in ice. If you want to sell bags of ice, they're 50 bucks a bag. I've been in Winnipeg when it was minus 60 degrees. Regina, Saskatoon, when it's minus 50 degrees. I do whatever it takes to take care of my extended family in this company. You're going to stand in a bucket of ice. You're going to sell bonefish and stone crabs. You're going to grab attention, bring it off the streets, drive it into Fifi's, and then sell them something. Who wins? Me. Dana will. Let's find out. Take your shoes off. Roll your pants up. That's how long can you last in there? I'd say 15, 20 minutes. Try it. Whew. How cold is that? That's cold. How long can you last? I'll last as long as it takes. No. Whoever raises the most money puts them to the top of this contest. This is bonefish. Have you ever had it? No, sir. No. Good? Four. How much is the bonefish? 25 bucks a pound. How much are the stone crabs? 65 for two. What else can you sell? Anything else that's ice. on the menu. Anything else on the menu, that's true. And the, and the ice? Can you sell ice? Whoever sells the ice gets a distinct advantage. Step into your ice. You can quit at any time. There's no shame in quitting. Yes, sir. Go ahead. You have 20 minutes. Yes, sir. Sir, how are you? Come here. Come here. Try this up, boy. We have a really hot deal going on. I'm so hot, I have to cool off with some ice. You want to try some stone crabs? No? Okay. This is the best stone crab I in know. Miami. I know. Bring your, bring your lady over here. Treat yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Got to go in there and get some, though. You just can't. Thanks. Have a seat right here. Fucking shit, people walking around me. The best thing at this entire place is gonna be the ice. Do you ladies have a moment? Go ahead and sit down and have some dinner. Thank you though, we appreciate the offer. Okay. Try one cube, just try it. Yeah! It's so hot, 
I have to sanitize to cool it off. So check it out. We have the, the freshest, but most tastiest bone fish in this entire city. Are you buying the soaker? You guys have yeah. to soak up the $65 for the, for the stone stone crab. Crab. $65. and the ice. We have celebrities coming to this place. You're really missing out. I'm telling you. Pitbull's been here. $65 for two, for two claws. How many claws are we going to go with today? Here, I'm going to freaking go inside. I'm going inside. OK, what I have to do is I have to get the most sales in order to win this. I need your help. I'm desperate. I get a job if I win this. OK, and now this is the bonefish. I have to sell anything, anything. Desperate guys. Okay. So we just, we just ate. You just ate the bonefish? It was delicious, wasn't it? Okay, great. What about flan? Did you guys try the flan? I would suggest splitting it between three of you, honestly. You will get the flan. Well, let me go ahead and go and take your order. I will send that in for you. So. Why did you guys stay in the ice so long? I thought that was a part of the challenge. It I was thought, part of the challenge. I thought a part of the challenge was to see if you can mentally and physically hack staying in the ice yeah. as long as you can. So I, that's why I that should have made the sale. Do you that's think? What makes the do you think if you came back to me and said, "Hey, I sold a thousand dollars in stone crabs, but I broke your rule about the ice," you do you think me. I could overlook you getting out of the ice? I do. Look, I need people that can think on their feet. Both of you went for the little trick. You got misdirected, and you lost the senior directive, which was sit them at a table, get revenue for Fifi's. Here's the bottom line, all right? How much money did you raise? Uh, I think about $27. Yeah, 15 It's $15. $12 for It's for the flan inside. $3 for the flan. Right, so. OK, ceviche, $12. How much did you bring in? 70 no, you brought in $105. 20 of it was a tip. OK. He only beat you by nine times. Dana, you don't have whatever it takes. This man won it. Thank you. It's OK. You know, I'm, I'm going to make it somewhere else. I'm still moving to Miami. <laughs> Really? I can't keep making that money. I can't keep paying for school. I can like, move on, you know? Somebody would be lucky to have you. I saw <laughs> your heart today. Thanks. Absolutely. I, 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 I'm so disappointed. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I, just, I just got stuck up in the rules, you know? That's really what it was. I'm just, what it would impress him. Anybody who's ever bitched about getting up and going to work after they see what you did, man, they should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> we gave 100%, yeah. man. I knew those two things, but... I'm kind of mad up. that Steve's a little tattletale and told <laughs> on me about a fucking cup, but... <laughs> that's um, who you're going to have working for you, Grant. A fucking tattletale. Steve, you proved yourself today. And in every challenge, you were at the very top. You were exceptional. You came on time, you dressed professionally, you acted like you wanted it, you didn't do anything too stupid. Staying in the ice that long was a little dumb, okay? Welcome to the Cardone family. You know Farm what? boy. Hey. Farm boy. Hey. Farm boy. Hey.